Hey Joe fans, Joe Fan 82 here. That's right, I'm back. I was out for a while due to Hurricane Irma. Me and my family made it through okay, and I want to uh, give a big thanks to everyone that expressed their thoughts and prayers for us during that time. I really appreciate it. Uh, we made it through okay. Uh, we lost power and internet for a while, so that was a little rough, especially with two kids. Uh, but we're all we're all okay. And uh, so that put me out of touch for a while on the channel. I couldn't make any videos. And then I had a couple freelance projects that came through, which is a, kind of a priority for me because it brings in some more money. So I had that. And uh, also while I was out, the channel has reached 1,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. But to celebrate that, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and you'll wanna stay tuned to my channel so you see the announcement video for that. So enough of this jibba jabba, let's get to the review. Okay, today we are looking at the Arctic Dr. Mindbender figure. This guy was released in 2015 and he was the incentive figure for the G.I. Joe Collectors Club. That means that if you were a member of the club in 2015, you were sent this figure in a poly bag, not on a card, just in a, a bag which was in a box and uh, that's how you got your figure. They also made carded versions available for sale at the Joe Con that year and they saw both versions on the uh, Collectors Club website. I believe they're still available uh, today so you can check that out if you're a member. This figure is based on Mindbender's appearance in the 1987 G.I. Joe animated movie and uh, to me it looks like they did a really good job. They match it up pretty well. Let's do a side-by-side comparison and uh, it looks pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and let you know up front that I am a little biased toward this figure. I am a big Mindbender fan and I also like figures that are purple. For some reason if a figure is purple I like it. I don't know why. Purple's not my favorite color but that's just the way it is. So uh, just know that going in that I'm going to be a little biased towards this guy. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and he's got a great uh, face sculpt. He's got the monocle and his big trademark mustache. Paint apps are excellent. Got a giant uh, coat with the fur, very nicely sculpted. Uh, as you can see, purple coat. This is a uh, not. It's not a neon purple. It's it's not really a bright purple. It's kind of a matte dull purple. He's got black buttons coming down the center and nice, very nice sculpting. You can see the folds in the material. And uh, coming down, he's got fur on the edge of the coat at the bottom. And he's got purple pants and some black boots, some very nice uh, uh, kind of funky uh, boots on the bottom. Now let's look at the articulation. His head. Uh, does not have a lot. It moves a little bit from side to side and a little bit up and down. This collar is kind of inhibiting his movement a little bit. Uh, his arms have a full range of motion, 360 at the shoulder. They come out and uh, his elbows uh, don't go all the way. Um, you know, go about that far. And his ankles, his ankles, his wrists, sorry, his wrists do a full 360 and that's about it. No other joints there. Uh, he does have a joint. He's got two sort of joints there. I uh, can turn all the way around if you want him to do that for some reason. And then he's got another little joint that's got just like this, almost no movement, but just a very slight movement and he does, can bend at the uh, torso. And uh, coming down, his legs have very little movement because of the coat. This is a rather stiff plastic. It's not the soft plastic that uh, I would have expected for his coat. Uh, but he does have double jointed knees. He's got some purple knee pads. And the right leg bends out uh, a lot farther than the left because of this gap here. He's able to move left one doesn't go quite quite as far and his ankles can do a full 360 and they do have that other extra joint there 
And let's look at his accessories. He comes with a small uh, gray pistol. If I can get a close up shot there. Which is uh, pretty nice. Nice detail on that. And he holds it pretty well. He also comes with this purple backpack, which has some nice detail, nice sculpting. And it has a hose, a pretty long hose, that comes out and attaches to this gun, rifle. And this is the same uh, gray color as the smaller pistol. And it looks pretty good, and he holds it pretty well. I usually keep it in his right arm. This is how it kind of seems to work the best. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It looks uh, kind of like it could be a freeze ray. Freeze ray! Freeze ray! Freeze ray! If you know what this is, go ahead and let me know in the comments. He also comes with this little laptop. It's all blue. It's got the red Cobra logo on the top. There's the bottom. And it opens up like so. There's the keyboard, and it would have been nice to have something on the screen instead of just blue. Even if it was just plain black, that would have been nice. But uh, a little missed opportunity there to put something kind of cool on the inside of the computer. And he comes with a white figure stand. It's got the raised Cobra logo on the top, and it says codename Dr. Mindbender. And here's a look at his file card. It says Master of Mind Control, codename Dr. Mindbender. File name classified, primary military specialty, mind control specialist, secondary military specialty, experimental systems, birthplace classified. And it's got this great piece of artwork on the left. And this is the same artwork that you would see on the front of the carded version. This paragraph says, Dr. Mindbetter was once a kindly orthodontist who experimented on himself to find a way to lessen dental pain through brainwave stimulation. As a result, he underwent a complete personality change, causing him to devote his life to evil and the complete suppression of humanity by electronic mind control. After joining Cobra, he improved and perfected the brainwave scanner invented by his predecessor, the nefarious Dr. Venom. He uses this chillingly effective, get it? Chillingly arctic Dr. Mindbender, get it? chillingly effective device to brainwash anybody who opposes the policies of Cobra Commander. Dr. Mindbender prefers to work out of his remote Arctic laboratory to remain far away from the prying eyes of the G.I. Joe team. He is incredibly ambitious and continues to perform unethical experiments on human test subjects. Each successful project only boosts his already high opinion of himself. And the quote on the bottom says, I'll bring the miracle of thought control to each and every one of you. Is that a promise or a threat? So overall, I think this is a great figure. I am a little biased, as I said. Uh, I think the sculpt is very nice. The paint apps are on point. He does have a little limited articulation due to his jacket, but overall a really nice figure and would be a great addition to any uh, display you might have for the 1987 movie. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, you're going to hear the announcement that I'm going to be giving away the figure that I just reviewed. Not that figure, but a, a brand new one that's sealed in the poly bag. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to announce the giveaway and how you can enter. But I will be giving away one of the Arctic Dr. Mindbender figures. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.